Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. I am excited. It's time to dig into the fat soluble nutrients. And the first one is vitamin E. I talked in the last episode about how in the next few weeks, I'm going to break down our water and fat soluble nutrients to the core basics, the bottom line of what you need to know to be able to get those essential nutrients, ideally from food, ideally from food. So let's dive into vitamin E. Vitamin E is a super antioxidant. It is a most powerful antioxidant, which means it helps to protect our cells from oxidative damage from free radicals. And free radicals, they're just unstable molecules that that can harm our cells and they can lead to all your chronic diseases. So vitamin E neutralizes free radicals, reducing their damaging effects. Vitamin E is absolutely essential for helping to look after a healthy immune system. Okay, it's about all the immune responses and how our body's able to fight off infections and diseases more effectively. Hair, skin, nails, they're all a true reflection of what's happening with vitamin E. So it helps to protect us from that oxidative damage from the sun, for instance, pollution, um, UV rays. They're they're out there in, in the environment in everyday life and also from aging. It's an antioxidant. It helps to slow that aging process. So vitamin E can be used to improve when we just start, whether you're taking it as a supplement or focus more on vitamin E rich foods, our skin hydration, our skin can run oil dry or water dry. Okay. It's not just water. It's good oils as well. Can help to reduce inflammation and promote healthy hair growth. Well, skin and nails, all those. Okay. So for heart health, vitamin E is really essential for cardiovascular system health and it helps prevent the oxidization of LDLs, low density lipoproteins, which are the bad cholesterol, which means it's helping to reduce that risk of artery clogging plaque, the stuff that can clog an artery and produce a stroke down the track. Really, really, really important. Okay. I'm a big consumer of nuts and seeds, which I'll come to in just a moment, because they're all about vitamin E. Now, vitamin E is also, it's destroyed by heat and light quick. So how we store our foods is important. Vitamin E is also important for our eye health. So keeping good eye health um, to prevent things like the age-related diseases like macular degeneration, okay? It causes a lot of vision loss in older people. So vitamin E through our diet, through the through all of our life is really important. So what are some of the best foods that help us to get enough vitamin E in our body? Nuts and seeds, almonds, sunflower seeds, hazelnuts, peanuts, uh, are rich in vitamin E. Now, it's really important that it's it's the raw nut. As soon as we go heating nuts like roasted and things like that, that's when we start losing or deteriorating the good oils that are in them, the good fats. So vegetable oils, wheat germ oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, excellent sources. In, um, in my aromatherapy clinic, every massage oil I made up, every body oil, anything, I always included E, vitamin E. Why? Because it is the natural antioxidant. It actually helps to prolong the, the shelf life of the oil that we would make. So vitamin E is used extensively in uh, an aromatherapy clinic. It's huge. It's just huge. And even just using it as wheat germ oil is a way to go. That's easy to get hold of. Or you can buy vitamin E capsules and squirt them into any of your skin lotions and things just to get that extra added benefit. Dark green leafy vegetables are also excellent sources of vitamin E. So we grow all our own chard, the rainbow chard in the garden. We grow the evergreen spinaches or the deep dark kales, things like that. They're rich in vitamin E and dead easy to grow. An iceberg lettuce has bloody nothing in it. So our salads are all based with dark green veggies. Avocados. Avocados is a creamy fruit that's rich in, well, omega-6 essential fatty acids, as well as vitamin E. Superfood, but really calorie dense. So you've got to watch the quantity, like a quarter of an avocado a day is a good amount. So cold water fish and shellfish are also a great source of vitamin E. Things like trout, salmon, not the farmed salmons. I've talked about to get omega-3s, not to get them from farmed salmon. That's the same as our, our body chemistry changes when we're under stress. And animals does as well. A fish does as well if it's sitting in a cage being fed bloody pellets instead of out there in the wild. Not cool, okay? Um, Prawns, shrimp, whatever you want to call them, also have a small amount of vitamin E, but it's mainly the fish. So for me, the easiest way to get vitamin E consistently 
in my diet is dark green. The darker the green, the better. Um, leafy greens in salads. That's the easiest way. And nuts and seeds. And even seeds like, you know, I'll talk shortly about things like calcium. So sesame seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds. All of your seeds are awesome, as well as just those few nuts. So things like almonds as well, hazelnuts, um, peanuts. Peanuts are a really highly sprayed crop and they're in a soft shell. So you've got to get organic. With all nuts and seeds, you want to try and get organic, but particularly with something like peanuts. So the healthy life hack is simple. Mindfully bring more dark green, leafy greens, which we talk about across everything. They should be in a daily basis, preferably home ground. Seriously, things like rainbow chard, silver beet, is the easiest bloody vegetable to grow. It's insane. Grow it in a pot. Grow it in pots on your veranda if you want. Dead easy to grow, lusciously long producing. You get months and months and months at one plant. It's so cool. Dead cheap to grow and so nutritious. Get all the rainbow ones. They're the best. And, of course, nuts and seeds. Mindfully bring them into your diet. Come from a place of prevention. If you want to go to the show notes and check the list of things that I've just rattled off, go to www.healthylifehacks.com.au and it's all I want to there. thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month I draw one lucky person who leaves a review to have a free one-hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.